What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame River 4. In this video I'm just going to quickly show you how you can spray some wheels purple. This is on a BMW and I'm just going to show you really sort of how you can paint them really quick. And remember guys if you've seen my other videos all you need to do is sand them down with a grey scotch in the areas where you can't really get and then just go over it with a 180 grit and then blow off all the dust. The next thing you need to do is you will need to mask up. This is how to do them without popping the beads off so what I've done is I've tucked a two inch masking tape very very tidily in underneath the rim. If um, you do have any tire shine or anything like that on the wheel, the uh, masking tape will not stick, so you need to make sure you use panel wipe to get that off. You are um, probably best to use panel wipe to wipe it over before starting, just to give it that extra stick, and then you know that it won't blow up once you're painting it. I am going to be doing the colour and the primer with aerosol, and I will finish off with the lacquer with a... Um, with the gun so basically I'll just be doing that by connecting it to the compressor airline I won't be showing you the lacquer inside of it I will be doing a video on how to lacquer but this one is just merely how to just apply the paint right so as you can see I've had to fast forward a little bit guys just because obviously I don't want to waste your time um, doing a very long video but as you can see just tuck the first layer underneath the rim uh, making sure that there's no tire exposed go around with a second layer and then a third layer and that's as much as you'll need really I did one for luck just to kind of hold it all together the tape for me a whole roll of tape only cost me about three quid and it does about eight sets of wheels so I mean it lasts me a long long time but if you want to be sparingly with the paper you can go around with newspaper I just don't really like putting newspaper on it because it tends to blow up sometimes when you're painting outside and it gets really annoying for me right so here just make sure you use a uh, grey primer just dust it on make sure you shake the can very well probably for two or three minutes until you can hear the ball moving inside and then just dust it on nicely as you can see I'm probably about 30 um, to 20 centimeters away from it I don't get any closer and you just want to dust around the edge of the rim some people start from the middle but I always find it best to start from the edge because I've had to take a lot of damage away from this wheel and I prefer it to be um, done first with a nice dust coat so just dust it on make sure that it covers most of the areas because you don't want to show any alley um, on there if you can help it and just keep going around uh, as you can see nice and steady just don't let it build up too much because if you get a run in it now then you know you're going to be ruined for the rest of the prep and you really don't want to um, be getting any runs in it at this stage uh, if you can help it at all But as you can see guys, you just need to start moving down into the rim. If you have a rim here like I have, where you need to get it down deep into, um, you know, deep into where it is hard to reach. This is why I mainly prime with a can, because you can get your hand in there, you can control your motions, and the fan doesn't sort of like on the spray gun. Uh, it kind of like comes out too fast and you, you waste too much and this this one can did all the four wheels so as you can imagine it's I got it quite cheap because I can get stuff cheap and it didn't really cost a lot or take a lot of effort to do and you just need to make sure that you get everywhere right we're just going to speed this up because obviously it's taken a while but as you can see once you've done the outside you need to go over and do like the middle parts and then on the on in the edges so make sure you get there every single spoke you can see here that it's all been done I kind of had to go over it two or three times but this is what you want it to look like so it needs to look um, you know crystal um, crystal I say crystal but I would say maybe sort of like a, a smooth coat so make sure it's really really smooth when you've done the primer because if the primer comes out rubbish guys then the the base coat is going to come out rubbish as well and you do not want that you don't want the base coat to come out bad you want it to come out as smooth as possible. Right, so for this we've gone for a metallic purple. As you can tell, we've got it in a nice can as well. And it's just the same process as the primer. You want to dust it on, give it a nice dust coat as you can see there. And then once that dust coat is, is done, you want to go around and give it like a full coat. So what I'm saying is dust it so that it only comes out like it is now. It might be a tiny bit patchy, um, but try and prevent that if you can. Because if it is patchy and it stays patchy and you let it dry patchy, 
then sometimes it will show through and it will look that bad as well. So just make sure you um, build it up and give it a nice full coat. But when I say a full coat, I just mean kind of like dust it on and then just go over one sort of like hard squeeze and then that should be enough and that should not allow you to get any runs. I do tend to give it like a coat like I am now and then I go over it again one more time just giving it a really fast coat just because that's so much um, more, um, you know, it's, it's just quicker. What this process is called as well, when you're painting on top of a primer and you aren't sanding it down or preparing it ready for the base coat, they call it wet on wet. So as the primer dries, give it about 10 minutes and then feel around the edge where you've got sort of like overspray on the uh, masking tape. And if that's touch dry, and it doesn't come off onto your finger, then go straight onto the base coat. Don't waste too much time because if it dries off too much, then it'll peel and then if it's too wet, it will possibly react. So you need to get in there quick and you need to do it um, at a stage where it's, it's just touched dry and it's not gonna come off onto your finger, okay guys? Well, as you can see here, if you're doing the middle, you wanna kinda just sort of like, you wanna get inside those holes where the, um, where the wheel nuts go. So you want to kind of just sort of like do this technique. So you kind of want to push and lift. And then as you push and lift, it will kind of get into the holes, but don't get too close. And if it's if it looks like the paint's building up too much, just stop. Just wait until that's dry and then carry on. This looks a bit patchy, guys, but I do go over it again, which obviously I don't show you, uh, with one full coat. So it is fine, but as you can see here, this is it actually lacquered. So I did went over with it with that full coat and then I got the spray gun out and did the lacquering. If you want to see me do any lacquering or you want to see any more techniques um, on how to finish off wheels, obviously I will show you. I just didn't involve it in this video because it gets really messy and I mean it gets all over the camera and stuff like that. So obviously I need to figure out a different way of doing it. But what you need to do is as soon as you can pull that tape off because if you leave it on, there's a chance that when you peel it off, once it's fully dry, there will be a chance that it will peel the paint off as well. So what you want to do is get it off straight away. I went over these, sent these center caps were ruined and they had like a horrible film on. So I took them off, I sanded them down with like a 2000 grit sandpaper and then I just went over it with lacquer at the same time as lacquering the wheels. This is the car at the end of a car show that it had just been to. Uh, me and Emma got down there um, just as everyone was leaving because obviously filming, I didn't want to have loads of people in the background and, you know, be disturbed. But, I mean, against the black, I think the purple works really well. This is what the customer wanted. And, um, you know, I think it looks really good. It looks really nice, to be fair. It does set it off. And in the sunshine, when the sun, sun, shine, sun is shining on that metallic purple, it does pop a lot. It pops really well. And it goes well with the red calipers, I think, too. So, I mean, overall, it's a good job. Guys, I hope you liked this video and you enjoyed watching it. If you do have any questions for me and you would like to see me paint something else or you want to know what techniques I use and how I get such a good result then just please hit me up you can find me on all my social media channels in the description below thanks for watching Flame of a Pause channel and I'll see you guys on the next one bye bye